Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Nocella, and by the end of this video, you should be able to use properties of similar shapes to solve for missing information of similar polygons. In this problem, we are continuing from our two previous problems, so we are given that quadrilateral QUAD is similar to quadrilateral FIVE. And in this problem, we are asked to calculate the lengths of X, Y, and Z. Let's go ahead and start with X. So in order to solve for missing parts of similar polygons, what we want to do is set up proportions that use the corresponding parts of these polygons. So if we're trying to solve for x, well, x corresponds with 8 in quadrilateral QUAD. So we have x over 8 is equal to, what we want to set it equal to is another pair of corresponding parts that we know. So x over 8 is equal to, let's use 3 over 6. The key here is to make sure that you are using the corresponding parts in the same order. So in the numerator, I have the corresponding parts from the small quadrilateral FIVE, and in the denominator, we have the corresponding parts from the larger quadrilateral QUAD. As we know, to solve a proportion, we're going to use cross multiplication. So we are going to multiply 6 times x, so we get 6x is equal to 8 times 3, which is 24. Divide both sides by 6, and we get that x is equal to 4. To solve for the remaining variables, we're going to set up our proportions just the same way. So to solve for y, we are going to see what other value in the other quadrilateral corresponds to y. So we have y over 5, because those are our corresponding parts, is equal to 6 over 3. Notice how in this proportion, since we started with the larger quadrilateral in the numerator, we want to stick with the larger quadrilateral in the numerator of the other ratio. So in the numerator, again, we have the larger quadrilateral. And in the denominator, we have the corresponding parts of the smaller quadrilateral. So to solve this, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. y times 3 and 6 times 5. So we get 3y is equal to 30. Divide both sides by 3. So y is equal to 10. Last but not least, we have z. So if we look at z, Z corresponds with 9 in the other quadrilateral. So to set up our proportion, we're going to have Z over 9 is equal to 3 over 6 to keep the ratios in the same order. Since we have Z in the numerator for the first ratio, we also want to use 3 in the numerator of the second ratio so that they're coming from the same quadrilateral. At this point, I have faith that you guys can solve this proportion using our cross multiplication method as we did before. And yes, it is okay to get a decimal. Nice work!